Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this set, what I'm calling Copper Gold Cat Nails. This is on my own nails. We'll be using this gel polish. It is number 3012. As you can see, I still have the encapsulation from my last set under there where I had my B nails. Um, this is a nude color, which I very rarely ever wear. Uh, frankly, I find nudes to be dull and boring, so I don't like them. Um, but I thought with what I originally planned to do for this set, that this color would have worked nicely. Uh, as you'll see as we go along, that did not work out as I planned. I'll be doing uh, two coats of this and curing for a minute and a half in between. And then I am going to use this copper and gold mix of leaf. I thought it was really pretty for what I had in mind to do. One lesson I learned when doing this that, that day, don't have your fan on when you're messing around with leaf. <laughs> did not, it did not go well. So I'm just breaking it up into smaller bits. Now I did not put any, any extra stuff on my nails. After they've just been cured and that's it. I don't have any base coat or anything on there. This particular polish has a tiny bit of the tacky coat, but not a lot. So I just was able to stick this on and then uh, brush it down. Now I had a plan in mind with this to use it, the, use the uh, leaf as the color of the cat bodies. So that's why you're going to see me clumping up a whole bunch of it on this nail because I had a, like almost a full body of cat on that one. It was fairly easy to work with. I haven't worked with this kind of stuff a whole lot. Now I'm having trouble getting it to pick up off of there. But you just plop it on there and kind of smooth it out with the... This is just an old cleanup brush that I've kind of gotten a bit ruined, so... Just use it for miscellaneous stuff. I think that's where the fan uh, got the better of me, so I had to move it. I'm just going to pat it down on there, and then I'm just going to brush it out to kind of smooth it down. Let it get stuck on fairly well. <laughs> uh. At one point, uh, after we get farther along in here, I had decided that some of the nails looked too plain, so I did go back and add some more of this uh, in random places on, on some of the other nails where, where you don't originally see me putting it on. Now this is going to be another cat body on here. Well, the one I ended up using is not the one I originally planned for, so the shape of this that I'm putting on is not exactly fit with the one I ended up having to use. I was trying to be uh, careful too when I'm breaking apart that leaf. I didn't want it on my other nails. I mean, I wanted it in specific places and I was trying not to use my nails to help break it apart because I didn't want it sticking anywhere where it wasn't supposed to go, but I ended up getting some on there anyway. As you'll see, I'm trying to be careful. That didn't totally pan out, but 
we get the job done in the end although this was not this was not a pretty one the way this one happened by the time I got done uh, or near the end of this set oh there's a cat hair again that's appropriate uh, by the time I got done with this set I was so aggravated that uh, I forgot to film the final putting the final top coat on Now what I do uh, after I get this on where I want it, and there goes this, the fan again. Clearly I didn't move it far enough away. I have a little tiny fan that sits on my desk and I have blowing directly on my face. Which did not work out well for me with this, this situation. And now I'm just going to randomly put some in a couple places on this nail. This is going to be the one that ends up with the meow with all the footprints on it. I didn't want too much on there. I was trying to get all those little crumbs picked up on there and I thought maybe if I rolled them on there they would stick on but that did not work. Now I'm just going to go over them and brush them all down make sure everything's laying flat and nice and stuck down. And then I decided I'm going to put a layer of glossy top coat over top of where I, just the ones I had put that leaf on because I figured when I'm stamping, in case something goes wrong, I'll need to wipe it off. I don't want to lose the, uh, the, the uh, leaf off of there. So once I get this on here, I'm going to cure this for one minute. I'm really glad that I did go ahead and put the top coat on over there too because as you're going to see I had a ridiculous amount of problems with my stamping this day. So now I am ready to start stamping. Originally I wanted to use brown stamping polish because I thought it would, would work well with this design. However, it did not go well. Uh, the brown that I have did not read over top of the that color that leaf like very well. It just you couldn't see it very well. So I had to switch to black, which I was not at all happy about because I do not like the way the black looks with this base color. Um, that's just a black stamping polish, nothing special. As I've said before in, in other videos where I've done stamping, I, I highly recommend the Born Pretty Stamping Polish. I've had a lot of, a lot of good luck with theirs, and it works really well. We just put it on there, scrape the excess off, and pick it up with the stamp. That one was okay. That plate worked fine. I didn't have any issues with this stamping plate. It's the other one where everything started to go horribly wrong. Most of the images I wanted to use originally for this design I could not use because it wouldn't pick up right. And I did not show the other ones that I have stamped on there, but you, you'll see them at the end. I think, like I said, I was so aggravated by that point that... Uh, I just was I just wanted to be done and get out of there when you have a design in mind okay I'm just wait I'm just gonna stick down there's a little piece sticking up I'm just gonna stick it down with the stamper when you have a certain design in mind in your head you want it to look a certain way and it doesn't come out that way and you have to adjust and do different stuff I mean I don't know about you guys but when that happens to me I'm never satisfied with the end result Even though the Manny's not bad, it just it's not what I wanted. So 
therefore I wasn't happy. But see how I have the the uh, the body of the cat is where the foot where the leaf is. Okay, now I have added the extra leaf on some of those, and I have I have done the top coat on there, the final top coat, and cured that for 90 seconds. Now I'm going in with these uh, crystals and embellishments. I originally wasn't putting any of these on, but since I had a spot on there that looked too empty and boring, I decided I needed this. So I am just going to add them on with some gem glue. Now this first embellishment that I'm going to use, I don't know what you call these. It's kind of like a, it's like a bead that has a little gold ring around it. That the, and the bead part in the middle, or the stone, or whatever you want to call it, it, they have all different colors of them. This was like a peachy colored one I thought would go nice with this. And it did not want to come off of my picker upper for some reason. But eventually I'm going to get it on there. Also, I'm using those brown crystals. Now, those were part of a, a huge bag of crystals that I bought that were all mixed colors. It took me hours and hours to sort those out into colors, which is how I like to store them. So, and I, I remember at the time thinking, oh, these brown ones, I don't know about these. I don't think I'm ever going to use these. Now, here I am using them. So, I guess that goes to show to never say never. I'm just going to stick these on. I'm trying to find one that's the same size as the one I just put on there. I think the one I first pick up right here, I think is not the right size. And then I decide uh, that I'm not using that one. Okay, that one's out. we got to get a different one. Okay, they match. Stick it in there. And then I'm going to put, once I get them where I want them, I'm going to put on some gold caviar beads in between uh, each of those, the crystals and the bead, and also on the, both ends. And I had started to stick those on and realized I didn't have enough glue squishing out, so I'm going to get some more. I'm just going to dot that on every place where I'm going to put one of those caviar beads. And then we're just going to stick them on there. I thought that uh, having a little bit of bling on the top of this one would help to kind of round that one out because it was looking kind of plain and dull around there. And when it comes right down to it, I got to have my bling on there somewhere. I like shiny, sparkly things. So, okay, I believe I've got everything on. I'm going to cure that for two minutes. I know it looks like it's off-center and it's not right because the cat is not directly in the center. It's off to the side a little. And there they are all finished. And there's the, the one... Uh, I didn't show the stamping of, but there's the cat. And here's the finished set. If you liked what you saw, please give me a like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.